So I'm currently planning updates to the SOFA website and I'm finding my current system to just be too time consuming. The current site is hand coded using Gatsby JS. And while I love the control it gives me, it's just a little too tedious and, uh, and like I said, time consuming to make updates to it, uh, whether they're tiny ones or big ones. There's so many ways you can build a website today and I've used a lot of them. I've tried a lot of the CMSs that are out there, a lot of the different site builders, and I've always found them to be either too simple or overly complex, which is why I ended up just hand coding the site that exists today. But there's been one trend that I've been seeing that has been pretty interesting, and that is using Notion as essentially the CMS for a website. Now, the reason I like this is I already use Notion for a bunch of stuff, and the editing experience is actually pretty great. Uh, combine that with databases and uh, all, all of the essentially components that Notion has, and you have a pretty powerful CMS, uh, and if you're able to just essentially style it, that would be great. The main player in this Notion as a website or Notion as a CMS uh, space is a site called Super. And for the past week or so, I've been experimenting with it to see if if I could essentially use that to replace my current uh, setup and system when it comes to creating and maintaining the SOFA website. So far, I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing. And I thought it'd be fun to go through a little demo of how I'm kind of recreating the SOFA site using both Notion and Super. So let's dive into it. So let's start with Super. So Super is a tool that essentially takes a public Notion page that you give it a URL to. And it takes all that content, turns it into what's called a static site, and then puts it live on the web for you. And what's nice about that is you can give it uh, your own URL, your own domain. Um, you can give it pretty URLs. So instead of having some gibberish for a certain page URL, you can give it a nice title like sofahq.com slash support, that kind of thing. You know, even and even their site here is all is all built with Notion. So it's all powered by Notion uh, content wise. So this has been very interesting. Uh, you can see, you know, a showcase of other people who have built their site with uh, with Super and Notion. There's something just like very impressive and nerdy and cool about this. I like this a lot. So it's probably best to start with the current site that exists today. So if you go to sofahq.com, this is the site as it exists today. And this is the site that is hand coded using Gatsby JS. I like the way this site looks. I like the way it's structured. I like the uh, content that is being communicated. I, I, I think it's, it's doing its job very well. I, like I said, I have a high level of control over uh, each part of it, which as a designer, I like control. It's very nice. Um, so you can see all this stuff, right? And this isn't a very complicated site, right? It's just a one page thing. And then at the bottom here, I just essentially link out to other stuff. And, you know, if I click on support here, this actually just goes to a public notion page, which is just documentation. But if I wanted to add to this, you know, it, it's just more work to be able to do that. And I know anyone who has used uh, these these uh, frameworks or uh, whatever you call them for <laughs> building sites like Gatsby or whatever, um, I know you can make template pages and do all that stuff and it's all powered by Markdown or you can hook it up to any CMS you want. That's all great. Uh, but at this point, that's not really where I want to spend my time. I want to spend most of my time on the app and developing and coding and designing the app. And all of this stuff, it is very important to have this, but I need it to be much simpler, much more streamlined. This is what I've been able to put together so far using uh, Notion and Super. So content is the same, so no content differences here. But as I go through this, there are minor differences when it comes to styling. But overall, I would say this is pretty pretty close to what I have in the existing site. And in some ways it's better, and in some ways, you know, tweaking specific stuff is pretty tedious. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but like I said, I'm 
extremely impressed that I've been able to put this together with using Notion as the back end and using Super on the front end. Uh, so this has been pretty great. You can see, you know, here's all the quotes here, you know, big call to action. And then uh, I have other pages here. And what's nice is these are actually, so if I go to support here, this is actually that Notion page that I had before that I would just link to, but now it's it's in uh, the styling of the site and feels more natural here. And, you know, has the same styling, all the same content. So, <laughs> see there's some stuff that's broken, so I'm working through that. Let's actually look at what this looks like in Notion itself. So if I go to Notion, this is the page in Notion with all that content you just saw. And as you can see, you just kind of put it in here. So this is an image. This is just, uh, you know, an H1. I have some text. And the hacky stuff that Super does, it's, it's actually pretty clever, is they use callouts uh, in very interesting ways. And you can give them essentially different backgrounds, uh, different background colors. And then based on the background color, you can target that with CSS and style it in different ways. So that's how you can get those different cards of, of content. So you can see all this stuff works, right? So you're seeing, you know, these are actually just big call out cards uh, with a specific color. And then I just put that content in there to kind of lay them out. So if we look at this right here, this section is all this stuff right here. So you may not be able to see it on this screen, but this is like highlighted a specific color. And uh, with CSS, you can grab that, that class name and you know style it however you want so you get these really nice effects. Let's go back here. Uh, one of the really nice things that I love is, uh, so here's like the pricing section. But uh, being able to use databases and or setting, you know, setting these databases up as a grid is really nice. So I can essentially just add, you know, this is just a database item within here uh, for sticky notes. I can add what the description is, give it an icon. And uh, based on how that is uh, laid out here, that essentially becomes this grid right here. So, you know, this section right here becomes this. And what this means is like adding new content in the, fu in the future when there's new features or anything like that is trivial. I essentially just go into Notion, add a new piece of content here, and then it just will update on the site, which is beautiful. More stuff here. So this is that uh, quotes grid, so you can see how that works. Oh. Let's go back here. So there's a couple things that um, I don't have like full control over or it's just more work than maybe it's worth is uh, stuff within certain parts of the content here. So uh, getting access to all of these things is a little tedious without breaking other stuff on the site or, or on this page via uh, CSS. So it would be really nice if, you know, I could I don't know, add like a custom class name to stuff in here in some way, like as like a as like a database property, add a custom class name and then be able to style things based off of that. That would be very nice. Um, but overall, this is this is really great. This is really awesome. And you essentially can have all of your pages here, which is pretty cool. So again, this is all powered by Notion and Super and uh, I'm very impressed with this. Uh, this is not fully live yet. Uh, if you want, you can go check it out. It's uh, sofahq.super.site. Um, just play around. I'm still working through uh, adjusting styles for mobile um, and some, some little quirks here and there that I'm uh, trying to fix. But I'm digging this quite a bit. And uh, I actually think I may move the full site over to this. So at this point, you may be thinking, why is this better? If I had more control on the current site for how it's styled and how it looks, uh, why would I want to move to something like this, which while I still get a lot of control, maybe like 90% of the way there, uh, there's still that 10% that's either uh, impossible to do, not worth doing, that kind of thing. 
and really it comes down to uh, workflow and process. And if I needed to make any content update for the SOFA website, making the actual update and changing whether it's a piece of copy or putting a new image in there, that isn't the time. That's, that's pretty easy to do. It's kind of uh, pulling stuff in from GitHub, making sure it's pushed up, pushing stuff to production. There's just a process involved there to, to do all that stuff. And then if I need to do anything with a larger lift, that's even more work involved to be able to do that. And like I said, I'm a team of one working on an iOS app and I wanna spend most of my time on the app, not necessarily all the things that surround the app, even if they are very important. So for now, I think this change is gonna be worth it because it allows me to have a fuller website uh, that will actually serve SOFA customers much better without the overhead of a of really managing a full website from you know soup to nuts. And that gives me more time to focus on the app. So that's really why I think this is worth it for for what I'm gonna be doing. So that's it. That's how I'm using Notion and Super to power the new SOFA website. I'm not done yet, but it's gonna be coming out soon. Um, and hopefully when people see it, they don't really notice change at all. That's the idea. Shouldn't be like, oh, this is so different. Should just feel like, oh yeah, this has more stuff and that's great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was interesting in some way to you and uh, see you next time.